Chichua, my amigos, Chino Dad Mayonnaise here, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Last episode, we were, were all the way on the other side of the map, all the way in Kalarisfa. If I can uh, go ahead and get all the way over there. Uh, yeah, we were right over here, and we got our 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 fourth gym badge, making us halfway to Pokemon League. This time, we're going to go all the way. If I, I'm loading my map again for no apparent reason, but. <laughs> Uh, we're going all the way over here to, to fight the poison crew of Team Star. Now, last time I was here in this little desert uh, mine area, I didn't really explore much. I just went over there to fight the, the Titan, and that was it. But now, I'm going to make the full exploration. It's in the cave right here. A sunstone. Alright. And this TM is for Smart Strike. Okay. Oh, that's a really cool. I thought there was some random rock. Okay. Got a rare candy right here. This looks like an item minefield right here. There's, there's just so much stuff to pick up. I'm going to jump around just to get collected all. Full restore. I'm collecting this TM right here, though. For acrobatics. Yeah, I like we need that. Max Elixir. What's this? Awakening. Timer Ball. What's this? Ref another Reflect and an Elixir. And give me Goose right there. This guy is just stuck in the cave. My baby is doing dinner. Know, I gotta get serious. I gotta get serious and get out of this cave, yo! Your wife's in labor and you're stuck in the cave? What do you do with your life? Yeah, yeah, out of here, bro! Go be a father! There you go, listen. I broke your hopes and dreams of being a Pokemon trainer. Now go. Go be a good father. Yeah, you think? You wish you could have got more serious? Yeah. I wonder why. Because you're a bad father! And we and we're close to the gym uh, we're, not the gym, the Pokemon Center. The meal! Hey there, Clyde. Glad to see you got my name committed to memory. Now let's pick up a conversation for where you left off before. I mentioned I joined Operation Star to resolve a sick situation to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students and Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Casapia, I want the team to disband for good. This joining Operation Star with you, I already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. And I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information to shift. That's why I want to speak with students from Team Star's other squads, too. too. If you do intend to take on another base, know that you can always count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, the mail. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? Nah, I want to see the boss of the Nami squad. Take me to Don Takis. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not let any outside pass this gate. That includes you. I don't care, I'm not leaving to let me talk to Donatoxis. Give me a break, you little doofus. Go say hello. Huh? Oh great, here's another run of the room of my day. I didn't think rent work for Team Star Newbies would be this much of a chore. Oh, Mr. Grant, I think this boy might be DeMeo. Wait, DeMeo, the kid who put the fight with Team Star? Well, that's me. I knew it! Oh boy, is that good? Everyone in the base is still asleep since we were up all last night playing video games. Even to me, Mr. Grant, I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Yeah, and what's in it for you? Don Toxics will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. Oh, that, that made my life. He's a dear compadre. And when a crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally those dear to him, no matter the cost. 
Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. Alright, you villain. If you're up with Don Tosca, be prepared to face my wrath. Wait a sec. Dis discretion is the best part of that lore. As saying goes, wise choice. Wait. Are we... So we're gonna skip that whole thing? Alright, you villain. Oh, bring it on! Yay! So wait, is this a Team Star? Or is this a, uh, Pokemon Trainer Yasuo? Golpin. Okay. Hmm. It's gonna be a good while for us to pick this up. So wait, is this like a relative or something, or what's going on? Why is he suddenly wanting to go against us? I'm extremely confused about what's going on. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and keep uh, Ponyard out and take care of the Strudel. Let's go ahead and do a low kick. Flat. No, Ponyard! We can do this, bro! We can do this! Come on! Yeah! And that didn't do as much as I hoped it would, but, um, I want to still start. And yes, why is it always with them attacking me? Then it's not me out of confusion. And there goes the Shrudel. Shrudel is out. And Pi almost leveled up. I talk big, but I'm no warrior. God, Toskis, I'm sorry I failed you. Yeah, you know, are you alright? I was sitting and watching while I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something happened to you over here. Nah, no fear. You had back up this whole time. Is this the boy? One of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Conkus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reason for being here. The man, I can ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. May I borrow you for a chat, uh, my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. Let's do the... Nice work, you know, the god. Within the base lights, Team Star's boys and group, the Naughty Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You can say he has clever hands. The guy is also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of lore, just check out many of the squad's Pokemon until you see it. Until uh, Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to watch the knights go off the map. Alright, I thought the team is ready to head on out, so let's go for it! The Snape's the fuck behind Operation Star. Ooh, I'm finally making a move against our base. You know what it means, gang? Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. Hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you've got the skills to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, the boss will make team you ready to meet in person. Ha, break a leg. 
All right. Where's my where's my pawn here? Okay, I gotta I gotta heal up real quick. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. Back suck is out, but I just need to get one more. Perfect. Way above our level, we gotta get the boss. a ninja! Pray forgive my sudden entry. It is I, Atticus. You're not scoundrel the male, I take it. You have some nerve part of your fangs at Team Star. Come then, man this witch. A plunge into the grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. I'm God. You being channeled by Atticus of Team Star. And there's a skunk tank. Hopefully the thing is enough flamethrower. Not but punishment awaits the rich a plague on your house. Now it's a dark and poison, so let's try the metal claw and see what that does. Sucker punch. Something moves can poison with a mere graze. Tremble Scholar for the Pokemon sick. Hmm. Gonna head out for a foul play. See what that does for me. Okay, it's giving me a little bit more damage. And right now, I'm glad I have the leftovers on Ponyard. I don't think I uh, would be doing well without it. Okay. Hmm.
Low kick? I, I just want to see. Will low kick do anything? Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Hat. Chest down. Okay. I may be able to do a, a little something with low kick, but at the same time, I want to go ahead and, uh, let's see. Actually, what do I want to do? You know, I might just... You know what? I'm giving one super potion to the Ponder. It's the only heal, heal I'm going to want to do, because I want to try and win this uh, without using any healing items. But I'm only going to use one for Ponder, because I feel like I'm desperately really going to need it. So... Hmm... Wait. He didn't do anything? Or did he attack miss? Uh, okay. I was blind, but maybe he's giving respect or something. I don't know. Toxic. It doesn't affect Bonnie or did the seal type! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you should have thought twice, buddy. Uh, but I don't want the stunt tank is out. Reverend. Re is he still the truck early? By the way, I think about saying I'm Rocket Lore. I'm not taking a chance, yo. I'm not gonna. T I'm not taking a chance. Uh, please, please, don't be sent out the trucker. Please don't send me the trucker. If I saw those multiple Pokeballs out there, I know you got more than just that. Oh my goodness! Wait. Okay, it's the standard Rever Room. Okay, I see, I see. Well, let's go and just knock out the flamethrower. It's not gonna do that much. Buzz. Oh gosh. Hopefully, this does something. And we knocked it out in one hit! Surprising! Muck. Let's see, do I have anything that might... I want to save Stomping Tantrum for later. Hmm. You know what? Lo low kicks? Go ahead, go ahead. I'll let you do your thing right here. I always feels a little too intense. I don't want to terrestrialize, but at the same time, let's see. Let's see you no, know I'll go for a lunch. It can lower the attack, and at the same time, I might be able to do something. Yeah, I'm gonna go for another lunch. Oh yes, the quick claw comes to effect! It just knew I wasn't gonna be able to go. Gonna lower the attack one more time with the lunge. He might miss, hopefully so. I really don't know what else to say, but... Wait, oh no, it hit, it hit. Low kicks, you did help out, so... I mean, I really hate having you out there to make you fuck a human shield, but at the same time, I do want to acknowledge that you have been helping out the team for the past couple of battles, and the most majority, and the, for the majority, for the most majority, and the important ones of all. So you really have been helping out, even though it feels like you're beating some human shield, I, I honestly truly appreciate what you've been doing. Let's try the flash cannon. Hit. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna send out a brutal swing. Really? It's a, it's the mud slap's fault. It's the mud slap's fault. Come on, you can hit, you can. S okay. We almost got uh, Muck fully down. Muck is almost completely defeated. Come on, no, you can't be this mean. You can't be this mean. You can't be this mean. Please, 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 please. I ask this for one brutal swing. Or should we just. Should, should I go for a funny and do a rock smash? I want to go for a funny and do a rock smash. Okay, yeah, the funny worked! Just know, guys, anything funny might just help you out in a serious situation. And Atticus sent out the Reva room. Okay. You think you give me a taste of my own poison? Fine! I will fight to the better end! 
Here's the his the real big river room. Now he is mobile Okay. Flame charge. Oh. Okay. So let's go ahead and knock out some. Are you kidding me? I was going to knock out some damage, but at the same time. No. Come on! Okay. Knock a sock. Come on. Let's drop that stomping tantrum. Spin out. Oh. Uh-oh. We, we honestly may be in trouble. Talking to the... No, going for something tangible. Maybe I'll get this. No. No. I'm sitting up higher just because it might be able to neglect the poison spikes. Yes, yes, exactly what I want to do. Now what? Foul play. Please do something for me. Okay. Flame charge. That's what I'm afraid of. That's what I'm afraid of. It's using the flame charge to build back its speed. This is this is bad. This is bad. This, this is really bad. Oh. Either way, it has something to counter the other. All I can say is hopefully, which is slowly, but slowly, chip away damage. I... I but in all seriousness, I really need to think of a strategy. Otherwise, this could be it. Not gonna trash slice, but. Oh, yeah! oh no. There goes Bonnier. I knew I, was, I knew I was feeling like I was gonna be afraid of this guy for some reason. And this is the reason it's gonna knock me out. Um. Chilling, Finison, Finison, Finison might be able to help. Finison might be able to help. It might be able to. Please, please. And it's poison. It's badly poisoned. Not just our Q. Uh oh. Okay, let's well, short that attack, and uh oh, this is this is not looking good. This is not looking good. I got a max revive. Should I use it? I'm putting my bets on Ponyard. And maybe okay, you're you're still gonna hit. But maybe Okay, so I'm gonna try Fukoko and I'm gonna see what I can do from here. Maybe I could do like a a terrestrialized fire? But no, the, the poison's gonna get me. But you might go ahead and knock me out. 
Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try the flamethrower. All we can do is try. That's all we can really do right now is try. Please. And there go. Wait, what? What? Yes! We may win after all! Okay, listen. If the Coco gets knocked out next turn, if this doesn't fully knock it out, Ponyard can still land the finishing blow. And wait. Yes! Let's go! I even have to revive Ponyard after all! Oh. Let's go! Give me my friends. About a year and a half ago. Oh, that's what he looks like. Forgive me, it took a great time to procure the required materials. Whoa, sick, these boots are insane! Ah oh, yes, the move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much! I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great Infernal Era. It lightens your vision, and I am content. It seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up, then. Thank you, Tom Atticus. What are you two looking like absolute beasts? Anyone who crossed us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sort of crafty things, Atticus. These people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. In the way the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns, and neither I expect nor desire sympathy from those armor-fighting rabble. Oh, someone's getting fired up. W watch out! World or Atticus has fighting words! Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. Alright, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle train so we're all prepared for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in, in the team. That's what being the boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I'll devote my uh, heart and soul to honoring my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so this badge is mine to keep no more. I'm trusted to thy care. Hmm. Alright. Take this compilation too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover the full and gunk. Gunk shot, alright! Hmm. The male of thy name, is it not? You have other destiny, but thy victory is still no business with me. Such was its brilliance. Don Atticus! My compadre? It seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought me all the way here? I have come to help you. If you don't get, if you don't start going back to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? Hmm. When the other kids at school and I were getting really, really bad, you and the rest of the team star saved us. Thanks to the operation you carried out, we were able to all go go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that would be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. You haven't heard anything from the big boss? No, nah, we haven't heard a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. Without the team, the bright and merry suit life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You only really trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are recluse, as with the rest of us, two were seen bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious com comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the base awaiting the day of their return. But that's why you don't go to school. But still, don't, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Onicus. You have a life like compadre and me, and don't forget, and you don't forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. It seems we we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the academy, but more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting they do. I just can't, couldn't see it. It's shameful how obvious I've been. Ah, I believe Team Star would be the one and the only treasure in my life. 
you think I've been in space. Look at the... The mail, it's me. I was in Starbad just now, yours then. I see. Not that the boss has been taken down, not these squad's days are numbered. No, Atticus too. Oh, sorry, I got a lot on my mind right now. So, Operation Starfall, we've been taking all but two bases. It's fair to say it's going well. If that seems like a good time to let you know what we're being able to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. What's this person like? Who knows, they control the five squad bait bosses from the shadows, that's all anyone can say. With this person, get them declared the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the big boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally come out and take the stage. Now how about your reward? I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. 7,000 LP! And I can make some more counting TMs. I think I want to learn strong moves so that I can continue to be used to the operation. My supply unit rep will be with you soon. Hey there, DeMeo. That sounded like a pretty serious phone call. I get you. Oh, I was talking to you! Ah. So that mastermind you were talking about, Caspia has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who caused all kinds of misery at the Academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. You'll lose your treasure? No, it's, it's just... Well, that's right, you need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. Lots of Pokemon material. Alright then, I'll be off then. Oh, and the mail? Don't lose to those guys. Alright. Well, I can say we can pretty much call this a day. I mean, we already taken down a Team Star base and everything. So I guess that's a, a big enough achievement as it is. Right now, all I can say is next time for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I can say it's most likely another gym battle. With, uh, let's see, the normal type gym will be a good spot to go to, to be honest. Uh, all the way here and I forgot the name of the town. But either way, we'll head on out there next time. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe because it would help support the channel. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Don't forget to stay awesome, everybody. Bye-bye!